morning or good afternoon or good evening whenever you're watching it welcome to this video it's a live match it's two matches uh some scrolls spring festival uh well easter festival i guess we're in summer now so i got that wrong um so two day event i've drawn peg 40 so i'm going to cup in two balls of ground bait here five meters so they're like quite soft because you want it to be active because that's where i'm going to start then i've cupped in three balls of ground bait to my right um, out of the way so well none of us really sort of knew how it's going to fish previous day only seven pounds won the silvers um, bear in mind it was a carp and silver match so i expect quite a lot of people probably would have fished with carp maybe anyway with this sort of time of year roach are definitely beginning to spawn then unsure if they were going to feed in numbers uh, which turned out they did on, on my peg and there was quite a few roach definitely more roach in the smaller lake wow be careful because it isn't two lakes i mean years and years ago when i first came to roll so i thought it was two lakes when they said the main lake and the small lake but for those who don't know it it's actually one lake it's like a little gully sort of peg eight is where it's the narrowest you can reach by a bank of 60 meters um, so none of us, like I say, really knew how it was going to fish fish. So I cut a, a bit of worm to put it underneath the pallet because I know that there's some decent sort of perch in rolls uh, and they, they could be important. And also I cut some, some dead maggots and micros down the edge of my right because there is a chance of catching skimmers. Now, unfortunately, obviously there are millions of carp in rolls. Um, so undoubtedly you're going to hook your carp down the edge but you could and I didn't you could catch some skimmers down the edge as well so it's always worth feeling like a short line to be honest. Um, the lake fish loads better in my area. The little lake fish definitely best. You know looking at the weights you can see that the little lake was definitely the place to be because um, obviously paper doesn't lie. Um, and I've had a great day fishing I really have I've caught probably about 80, 90 roach, and then I probably had about 10 small skimmers, two maybe might do a pound, and the other sort of like four, six ounces, so yeah, fantastic day, great start.
So day two on my way. Um, so learning from yesterday, definitely rotation of, of lines really important. As soon as that line begins to fade or you feel there might be a car up there, then you just gotta come off it. If it does go suddenly quiet, then it's time to move. Now, there is a slight issue with that because obviously I, I feel like them big bream potentially do swim with them car because like yesterday looking at Martin, he's gone in, he's up to car, right? He's come off, he's gone straight back in again, and he's had a bream. Now these bream can be quite big, so they're like, you know, anything from three to five, I believe there's even six pounders in there, so obviously that's a lot of roach, so you've got to be a little bit mindful of that. Um, but having said that, if you can catch them roach and line them up, then obviously that's, you know, they're, they're good stampers. They're probably averaging maybe six to the pound, eight to the pound, if, if you're lucky to catch, you know, a shoal of, of, of deep and decent stamp fish. Now, I don't believe they're everywhere, and I don't believe you can do 19 pounds like I did yesterday everywhere, far from it. I honestly believe that 10 pound is achievable off every peg. I want to say bold statement I won't edit that um, to try and make myself look a hero because I'm not um, so ordered some pink ears as well so shout I don't like name dropping but shout out to Wayne uh, Gray from Top Tackle sorting us out some bait so cast is really good maggots nice and big from Lane so yeah fair play to him so obviously good bait does help so uh, I appreciate him bringing it to us just makes my life a lot easier um so yeah light rigs sort of like four by tens four by twelves uh if there's a if you probably start on a heavier rig to begin with like an half a grammar just you know catch them idiot fish and sometimes like them heavier rigs just help you set the hook now definitely another little thing i found is fishing slightly over depth on the on obviously on the deck it's just you just tend to hit more bites and also you want the fish to take it good and proper because with barbless sook, especially with them smaller roads it can be a little bit of a nightmare bouncing them off um, maybe I should have brought like some real light elastics I have put some lighter elastics in for today I did re-thread them because some of them were a little bit ropey so um, as Derek Newsom would say fail to prepare, prepare to fail Loving swans and all that. Got a name drop twice now. Um, so, and also, like, edges can work really well. Edges can work really well um, for, like, decent fish as well. So, like, sometimes you get some big roach perch, and like I said earlier in the video about catching bream as well down the edge. Uh, the only issue is, is that undoubtedly you're going to up some carp. Um, Worm stodge, uh, I didn't really use it yesterday. I had it in my armory. I've only had one perch down the edge on a bit of worm, which is about probably about four rounds. Um, I know there is some great big ones in there, but I think there's probably maybe a bit too much color. Uh, I don't think I heard anyone catch any big perch yesterday anyway, to be honest. Uh, pike don't count. So they made the agreement that pike don't count towards the silvers because there is some very big pike in there. Um, and I think that's why them pegs have, have been very good, like peg 38, 40 and 2. I think them pike do shoal up them roach in that corner, especially in winter. Maybe not so much now, but the locals have said to me, without name dropping, um, whatchamacallit, that them pegs have been good and weighing said that uh, we should do well there there's just loads of roach there you just said get your head down so I appreciate the heads up pardon the pun um, where would I like to draw to again today peg 40 uh, be awesome 40 yeah 40 uh, definitely a lot of fish there 38 maybe two yeah, I guess that, that sort of bottom corner, 4, 38, 40, 2, and then, I don't know. I think Steve Page done well yesterday, catch 11 pound off peg 8 to win the section, because that's somewhere you 
and the doubt we definitely won one in a cart match you'd be laughing running to the bag loving it but for silvers no ideal um, some bream were caught so yeah we will see I think you just got to go a little bit flexible with your approach bit disappointed yesterday I didn't catch on pellets I thought like fishing like four mil spanders and I had actually done a few two mils and uh, unbelievable they like rattling in micros and stuff fishing a two mil a dead maggot over the top produced uh, nothing which is really surprising so then them smaller skimmers them sort of four ounces definitely 100% sat over ground bait better and also cupping in loose ground bait was better in that shallower lake um, and just topping up like a half a pot loose obviously quite damp um, and that definitely brought a run of fish so you know loose feeding maggots was important as well and um, yeah rotational lines absolutely crucial you know you just couldn't you can't plunder one line I'm not sure if they just back off because a few roach have been caught or a cart moves in or I just think maybe a combination of both Anyway, I am here. I will catch you later.